Okay, since primary, secondary, and tertiary haloalkanes and alcohols have different chemistry, you need to be able to spot these. So the trick is find the OH, find the carbon attached to it, and count how many carbons are directly attached to that. In this case, one, so it's primary. Let's put the OH here. Find the OH, find the carbon directly attached. How many carbons attached to that one? Directly, there's three, so that's a tertiary carbon. In this case, a tertiary alcohol. Okay, let's try this big one here. The first one on the left is primary. Find the OH, find the carbon, how many carbons directly attached to it. Secondary, and that one is tertiary. So there are three sorts of carbons there. Now this doesn't just work with alcohols. It also works if you replace the alcohol with a halogen, like a haloalkane. And there's one small trick that the rule doesn't account for. If you have methanol, the rule would say that that was a zero order. No, that's primary, I'm afraid. Okay.